Look, I think the Fed has come under scrutiny because of mission creep in recent years. It, it, it constantly says, gee, if, if Congress would just do its job, then we wouldn't have to do all this heavy lifting. I say hooey to that. If it takes an act of Congress, we've got a one party, you know, we, we're theoretically capable of getting past gridlock. If it takes an act of Congress to reduce the Fed's mandate back down to just minimizing inflation, take the labor mandate out of the equation, put it back in the hands of the private sector, admit that what was done in 1977 was wrong. That's A. B, we're no longer a nation that we were in 1913 when the Federal Reserve Act was originally conceived. It was the wild, wild west out in California. Look, Janet Yellen watched the subprime bubble blow up on her watch. It's fair to say, and I've got blasphemy, we need a little bit more bureaucracy out on the West Coast, or at least more eyes and ears. While you're at while, while you're adding one on the West Coast, no no offense to anybody in Minneapolis, St. Louis, Cleveland, they could theoretically, economically be absorbed into Chicago and save the taxpayers a lot of money. Uh, so I would take it down to 10 districts. And last I checked, Texas and California, they don't rotate out of economic relevance every three years. Give every district a permanent vote. And in that way, you start to dissipate some of the power base that is in New York and Washington, D.C., that I think are what would have sown the seeds of corruption at the Fed and made it an overly entrenched academic-led institution.